Judy the dreidel with me. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to start the matzo ball by Jean Meltzer. Very curious. It got mixed reviews, but I'm really hoping I like it. I'm ready for a cheesy Hanukkah romance book to be on my shelves and in my life. So please, 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 at least, at least be good enough to satisfy me so you can stay, please, because it would be heartbreaking to unhaul it. So here we go, the matzo ball. So, yesterday was Sunday, the first night of Hanukkah. There was drama in the house because, of course, personal drama. I had problems with my laptop. And then I realized my book was in my bed and bent. So my beautiful, expensive Barnes & Noble book. Now has more character on the cover, which I'm, I know it's so materialistic, but I'm really upset about it. Now it's mine, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I could buy another one and donate this one, but I mean, do I have a good reason? No. I just hate cover damage so much. Anyways. I didn't really read yesterday. Actually, I didn't read it all. <laughs> so, there you go. I need to get back into this. I need some Hanukkah spirit in my life. Got a sugar plum danish at Starbucks after quite a few weeks of supply shortage. My coffee's over there. <laughs> I can't reach it with this one hand. Finally catching up on the matzo ball. I've only read 20 pages, but we're making progress. Jacob waved over Shmuel. Mind taking over from me? Mind, Shmuel joked, waving away his concern. I was born to oversee food. <laughs> oh my gosh, that might be my favorite part of the whole book. This is Jacob's Bubby speaking. My journey of Hanukkah, Toby said simply, has spanned 91 years. I have celebrated this holiday in Germany, France, New York, and Paris, all over the world with my grandson, during good times and bad times alike. She quieted, a small sadness sitting there at the tip of her throat. But what I always explain to Jacob is that these candles are a metaphor. They remind us that we always have a choice. We can be someone who snuffs out another person's candle and in the process, makes the world a darker place. Or, we can be the type of person who spreads light. Better to be the shamash, 
one candle that lights all the others and brightens an otherwise dark world. Guardian Hope. Today's the day. I gotta finish the Mods of Ball. We have less than 100 pages left. But I was up till 3 a.m. working on another video. I'm really tired. I need something to wake me up. Or maybe just 10 more minutes. Alrighty. No coffee, no food, <laughs> but I'm up. And I'm reading. I'm on page 313, which means I have less than 100 pages to read. That's not focusing. There we go. Actually, I'm on page 312. Okay, here we go. Chapter 32. It could partially be the fact that I'm really tired, but as you can see from my eyes, Look, made me cry. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Took a much, much needed trip to Starbucks for a cold brew. And I got some food because I haven't eaten all day. And it's already 1.51. So coffee in my veins, food in my stomach, got my laptop out. I'm about to go through the matzo ball page by page write my official review while watching my jewish mommy life's vlognica videos i need to catch up i'm gonna have that on in the background and then i will be back with my final thoughts hey guys good morning and welcome to what will be tonight the first night of Hanukkah, which means it is Vlognica day one. If you're new to my channel, I vlog every day of Hanukkah and I call it Vlognica. I'm sure you guys have heard of Vlogmas here on YouTube and the concept is very similar, but for Hanukkah. So I'm so excited to have you guys in my home and here with me to celebrate one of my favorite holidays of the year, if not my favorite holiday of the year. Sometimes Rosh Hashanah is a close second. It's hard to decide. I want to give a shout out to Marion from My Jewish Mommy Life because she is actually one of the first legit YouTubers who supported me on YouTube, commenting, subscribing, and I really appreciated that. I wanted to show you something that I just discovered. She makes these really beautiful Jewish holiday calendars. They're only $6 on Etsy. And this is just printed with normal paper. And it looks this beautiful. This is for 2022. Printed one for my mom. And this one's for me and of course this one starts September 25th or it started September 25th now we're here so yeah go check it out on Etsy it is beautiful enough to frame even on regular paper okay here's up because I got really hot Oh, coffee's running low. I am 
so close to finishing my written review, but taking a quick break because I'm starving. <laughs> so I'm having a barbecue chicken sandwich on pita and some macaroni salad. And then I'll get back to writing. I just need a little break. <laughs> I have done enough vlog reviews to know I am much better when I have time to write my thoughts down and organize them rather than speaking off the cuff. So, the matzo ball. Let me read you what I wrote. Jews come from so many different backgrounds, making our worldwide family equal parts incredible and mashugana. Rachel Rubenstein Goldblatt's upbringing doesn't mirror my own, but this Messianic Jewish girl still found common ground and comfort in her story. Rachel's dad is a rabbi, so she grew up under intense scrutiny, trying to meet the high expectations of her family and community. I was nodding my head at every single sentence because my dad's a pastor and life as a pastor's kid is the same as that of a rabbi's kid. Eyes are on you at all times, people scrutinizing everything you do and gossiping the minute something doesn't meet their approval. I do not say this lightly. I get it. I totally get it. That's the biggest reason why I connected to this book beyond surface level enjoyment. If you're a fan of the enemies to lovers trope, Jacob and Rachel's romance is for you. Thanks to miscommunication spanning 18 years, they hold a grudge against one another for post-summer camp broken hearts. I am ridiculously persnickety when it comes to character flaws and couldn't help feeling annoyed at the lies and secrets for no good reason. However, I fully understand that's a major detail supporting the plot and don't officially consider it a negative. After all, the conflict is what makes the ending that much sweeter. Sweeter than Sufjani Oates. For the most part, this book is a home run. Minor details were repeated when unnecessary, such as adult Jacob's memory of young Rachel's... <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Minor details were repeated when unnecessary, such as adult Jacob's memory of young Rachel's high ponytail and hot pink shorts, pages 56 and 78. Some Jewish phrases were explained while others were not. There are enough context clues to keep you out of the dark, but I can understand why it might frustrate non-Jewish readers, though I would encourage a quick Google search for the sake of education. In the final pages, the onstage moment between Rabbi Goldblatt and his wife, Dr. Rubenstein, led to a sweet parent-daughter moment. But the setup was too cheesy for my taste, the overheard dialogue unnatural. There were very few negatives within 385 pages, but I'm leaving room for improvement because this is Jean Meltzer's author debut, a mighty impressive one, I might add. Four out of five stars. There is familiarity for members of the tribe and common ground for Gentile readers. No matter who you are, it will take mere pages to feel like you're wrapped in the cozy warmth of a Hanukkah blanket. Read this book with my blessing. Chag Hanukkah Sameach. There you have it. I loved the matzo ball. I'm interested to see if she does any more Jewish holidays like Passover, Rosh Hashanah. The possibilities are endless because there are many, many Jewish holidays. I am definitely keeping this on my shelves and I will definitely be rereading this for future Hanukkahs. If you've read The Matzo Ball by Jean Meltzer, I would love to hear your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed this reading vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that red button down below to subscribe and become a member of my YouTube family. Also, click the bell to turn on your notifications. I will see you in my next video. Bye!